My name is Matt Collins. I'm a councillor in Belfast City Council for People Before Profit. I represent the Black Mountain Ward in West Belfast. Well, on the morning of the 6th of June, I volunteered to help steward the event and help ensure social distancing and safety on the event. I was one of a small team of volunteers who turned up early at 10 a.m. Uh, at Custom House Square in order to put down social distancing markers and ensure safety on the day. Almost immediately, the PSNI turned up and they were quite obstructive about that. In fact, they cautioned me for putting down social distancing markers just after 10 a.m. And as I pointed out to them then, I was there in my capacity as a public representative to ensure safety and to facilitate a safe, socially distanced protest, which is what I think they should have been doing, uh, and they weren't doing that. Then, when people started to filter in, the PSNI actions, in my opinion, were disastrous. Uh, they blocked people physically from entering the square, which obstructed the efforts of the stewards uh, uh, to ensure safety. They began to feign people and caution people as they entered the square. And there were serious question marks raised about racial profiling in this sense. We had a situation, for example, when speakers who were from the BAME community were being targeted and feigned in the aftermath of giving speeches. That was really disgraceful. It shouldn't have happened. Those feigns should be dropped immediately. I think when the footage and the news spread across the world of the murder of George Floyd, it really exposed the deep level of racism in the US, but it also shone a spotlight on the level of racism across the world. And my sense quite clearly from looking at the size and scale of the protests is that this incident triggered one of the biggest movements of racial solidarity and anti-racism that we've seen in, in many, many years. And I think that in Belfast, it had a, an immediate impact in terms of uh, exposing the level of racism that exists in our society. We had a situation where huge numbers of Black Lives Matter protesters came out onto the streets. They protested in a very safe way, in a socially distanced way, in a righteous and justified protest. And they themselves were in fact victims of racial discrimination carried out at the behest of the PSNI. I think for me, we have to begin by understanding that we do live in, in, in a deeply racist society here in Belfast, and there is a serious problem with institutional racism. Um, we have a situation in a city which is divided on sectarian lines, where we now have a situation in which racist incidents and racist attacks outstrip sectarian ones. We have a situation where the storm of executive have failed to really address this. They failed to implement a proper racial equality strategy. We have a situation where MPs are openly attacking the Black Lives Matter movement in a very dangerous way. And we have a situation where the PSNI have effectively discriminated against Black Lives Matter protests in Belfast and in Derry. So to me, the whole movement of Black Lives Matter wasn't just about standing up uh, for George Floyd and his family. That's clearly what uh, sparked it and that was, was most important to it, but it also shone a spotlight on racism across Belfast and across Ireland and indeed across the world. I think it seems evident to me that racism is a global problem and we need to fight it um, you know, everywhere we go. Um, I think for me, it was important to stand in solidarity with the BME community. Um, you know, it was one of the most diverse protests I've ever seen. Uh, it, was, it was incredible to see so many people, so many, uh, you know, the, the mixture of so many different cultures and traditions, um, and also the raw anger there, not just about what happened in the US, but about the many sort of, uh, many varied examples of racism here in Belfast.